Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble this cute little folder that I have for sale in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description and it's got a lot of journal cards and a notepad, places for writing, and a bunch of cute uh, little ephemera. So on the cover here you've got a po two pockets, um, a pretty little tag, you've got a pocket over here with a journal card, and two journal cards over here in this pocket. Another journal card right here. Some cute ephemera. This is a notepad that you can take out and it goes in this little pocket and you've got some more ephemera here. And then on this page, you have a journal card and a little tag, an envelope where you can put some ephemera or whatever you wanna put in there. And then two pockets over here. This one's got ephemera and this one's got another little journal card. So that's the folder. And let's get started on making this kit. So now we're gonna get started putting this together and um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score these pages the cover and these two pages so that um, we can fit them together and again if you don't have a score board that's fine you can just use a ruler to get a good crease I don't know if you could see it. Um, I made some tiny little lines right here at the end so you know where to score it. And then for this one, you score it right down this line. And the same for this one. Okay. Now you fold this in like that, and then on the second one, you make a really good crease. You've got a little spine here. And this gets actually folded in towards itself. And this one too. Okay. So these are going to go like this. And like this, so it forms pockets and pages. But before you do any of that, you have to do another thing so that you don't forget. And I forgot twice um, to do this when I was putting this together. So I had to start all over again. This pocket right here is <clears throat> this pocket here. And so it goes underneath this page. So you have to make sure to glue this pocket on first. Because if you don't, you are going to have to rip it apart and do it all over again, like I did. So <clears throat> when you do a pocket, you just do the three sides. You glue the three sides right at the edge. Okay, 
So this goes right at the edge of this crease right here. And just fold it over so that you make sure you got it. You didn't go over the edge of the crease. Okay. And now you can glue your pages in. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and start with this page. So the pocket goes right here on the edge of this crease so that you've got your pocket here and then your page. So you just put some glue on the edges of just the pocket. And then Line it up with this crease on the left. Like that. And then fold it over to the crease and kind of push it in there just to make sure it's at the edge. just at the edge of the crease over this inside pocket. And I fold it over to make sure that he didn't go over the crease. Okay, so now you have your cover and your two pockets and your pages. So now we're gonna put a pocket on the front cover. And that is this pocket. And on the printout, it there's a little note that says that this one goes on the cover. So make sure you use this pocket because it's sized a little bit differently. I mean, if it's a little bigger, you can trim it off if you want to use a different pocket, but this one is sized to fit on the cover. right there on the bottom. If it's a tiny bit over, you can always trim, but you want to trim from this side. So push it right to the edge of that spine. And then we have another pocket for the cover. that goes right here on the cover. Okay. So we have this pocket and then we have another pocket that goes right here. And 
it a little bit away from that spine so that it has room to fold over. And then on this page, we'll have the notepad, which we'll do later, but that goes into another pocket here. And now we have a pocket that goes right here also. Okay, so this pocket goes right here. And your pages might look different um, because I've got some pattern pages for you to print on the back of. So depending on what page you printed this on the back of, this page will look different. So this goes right here at the edge of the crease. And line it up nice and press it down and catch any extra glue. Okay. And on this page, we've got the envelope. So, this is the envelope. And Print this on cardstock, um, and then I would suggest making a crease uh, with your scoreboard or with a ruler and some kind of a bone folder or like a knife or something, just to get these creases really nice because on cardstock it's kind of hard to fold. Okay, and fold these in and crease them nice. Oh, that one got a little bit over the edge, but that's okay. And then fold these in and do this crease again because it might be a little puffy like this. You might need to recrease it. Okay. And then you just glue this bottom flap to the top. I like to mark it a little bit with a pencil. Just very lightly, so you can't really see it. So you know where to put the glue. erase this a little bit. Ah. Press that down. 
Now, once you get your envelope folded, you have to ink it again. Let me redo this crease. Because you won't have the ink on the parts that you folded, you'll just have to you just have them on the edges. So I'm just going to ink this quick. And you might want to ink the inside too. It's up to you. Okay, there's your envelope. And now this is a pocket, which I have forgotten in the past. And just glued the whole thing down. Um, but it's a pocket. So make sure when you glue it on, you only do the three sides. Okay. So there's that pocket. So we have got the cover, first page pocket, this pocket, this pocket, that pocket, the envelope, and these. So now um, I'm going to show you how to do the little notepad. Um, so I've got some blank papers for you and some papers with flowers on them. And yeah, I don't know if you could see this little, a white part here. You could ink that if you wanted to. I'm not going to for this. Um, and then I had you print these on pretty stacking papers. So what I like to do is alternate the plain papers, some of the plain papers. And the flower papers. And of course, pick your favorite to go on the top. I'm going to pick this one for the top. Okay. And then that's going to go on this. This is just going to be on the back of it so that you can put this in your All right. actually I got the wrong one this is going to go on the back of it so that you can put your little notepad in this pocket and what I like to do is just go down maybe a quarter of an inch and score it um, on here and on here so that when you open it up to write on it, it's easy to open up. So I'm just gonna score these quick. Okay, so now I like to sew this um, on my sewing machine. So 
sew this together. You can sew it by hand if you would like to. Um, just use like an embroidery needle or if you have a book binding kit, you can use a book binding needle. Um, just mark some spots on here, poke your needle through it, and then you can sew it with regular thread to keep it together. But I like to do it on the sewing machine. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay. I've got this sewn just, you can see, over the edge, and this is just in the middle. I like to put a little dot of glue on the edge just so it doesn't come off. Just like that. Okay. So there is your notebook that goes in here, like that. Okay, now the last thing to do is just put some little tabs on your journal cards. Got a lot of journal cards in here. And I like to score these. And a little tip I'm going to give you is to ink the inside edges of these because if they're not no, they're not cut perfectly, you might be able to see. Well, I did these pretty good. But still. You want to ink just the inside edges so that if you fold it over and you've got like white showing, you won't really see that. Just the inside like that. So that's just a suggestion. Okay, I'm only going to do one for this. Now you can decide, I've got seven tabs here, you can decide what you want to put them on. You could, um, if you don't have a grommet and you wanted to put one on here, you could put one on this tag, um, or you could just put a hole punch in here. Um, and then also decide where you want these to go in your little journal. So like this one, I want on the side, so I put the tag up here. Um, and then these, I put the, t the tabs up on the top. So I want this one on the side and I want this one on the side. And then I didn't put one on here because I didn't want it to stick out, I think. And the rest I'll put on the top. Okay, so put a card in here, and then you can put these in this pocket. It's kind of a squeeze. I think I got crazy with the glue on this one. And then card in here. And maybe 
you just a little ephemera. journal card in there, and one in here, and that, and then you've got <clears throat> all these little pieces of ephemera that you can put wherever you want them to go. little pocket envelope I could put some in here cute I like this one in here and this one could go in here and then you've got your little tag that you made right there. So that's the kit. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you use it to create some fun things with my kit or just to create your own junk journal things from the ideas that I've shared. Um, like and subscribe so that you can see more videos when I post them. Thanks. Bye, everybody.